Well, from anxiety to grief and saying you're sorry. Yeah, all those can be hard to talk about with your kids, but books can open the door to discussing those tough subjects. That's right, and that's why we brought in author Julia Cook this morning to provide a little help with us right. in those nice topics. To see you again. Nice to see you again. You've got Thank some you. new books to tell us I about do. this morning. What do we got? I have uh, Wilma Jean, The Worry Machine. It's on anxiety <laughs> and worry, the kid, the worry kid. Uh, average Joe, because I was taking a little bit of flack from kids, can you write a chapter book? Because we can't use it for credit if you write a, you know, so I wrote a, my first chapter book. And uh, the, sorry I forgot to ask is on making an apology and, um, and, saying, and, and uh, asking for permission. Mm -hmm. And then the kid trapper, which is on uh, sexual abuse prevention. Let's get into these a bit, and, and maybe we'll go back to... Wilma Jean okay. and this issue of anxiety. Why is that such a challenge for kids, and and how can parents start to address that? There's certain there's a there, at the end of the book there's some tips for parents. Um, mm -hmm. An anxious child, you know, you might think that their their worries are ridiculous, and if you sit down and you kind of listen to them genuinely and they know that you're listening that helps also if you have an anxious child make sure you don't get them anywhere late because that just adds to their anxiety but you also need to hold them to the same level of expectation that you would have for a child who isn't anxious because if you expect them to be anxious they're going to be okay and um, we always at the end it says there's some worries that kids can't control for that you need the worry hat like the weather you know, you put the hat on and you think all the worries that you can't control into the hat and then the hat will hold your worries for you so that you can focus on what you need to focus on. Yeah, on Wilma Jean and the worry machine on the back, there's you riding a unicycle uh, playing one of the squeeze <laughs> boxes What is the here. story with that? Um, I started taking accordion when I was six, uh, got a unicycle when I was seven, put them together at the age of ten. So you ride unicycle and play accordion? Yes, I, I do <laughs> nice. do that. Kid, do you ever do it with when you're doing engagements with yeah, kids? Yeah, I do. Um, I, uh, some kids in Fremont uh, did good deeds enough to make a chain from the school to the church, mm -hmm. and so I rode that for them as a reward. Oh, fun. So it's fun. All, All right. right. Sorry, I forgot. Sorry, to I ask. forgot to ask. That's another. Making one of your an new books. apology and asking for permission. Kids need to know where the line in the sand is, and they need to know where the boundaries are. And when they cross someone's boundaries, you know there needs to be some kind of a consequence. Mm -hmm. And when you make an apology, sometimes saying sorry is just not enough. You make an apology, it has to have three parts. You have to say you're sorry, you have to recognize and accept what you did wrong, and then you also have to present a plan to not do it again. That's a complete apology. So it talks about complete apologies, and it talks about, you know, how do I know if I'm supposed to ask permission? Well, if the answer could possibly be no, there's a good chance you should ask. But the thing is, the more you ask, the more the chance of us saying yes. So the more often you ask. So you praise children for, you know, asking for permission and and then you Crafting teach him a yeah. skilled apology. Yeah. Yeah. Average Joe? Who's Average Joe? Average Joe is this kid who, uh, his parents, uh, his dad's a scientist, and he um, makes a, a serum to keep his mother young called Flawless Forever. And Average Joe gets into it and takes it and becomes a grown-up for, as the age of 22, for two hours. He figures out if he sneaks in and takes his grow-up medicine, he can get his homework done faster. He can sneak his friends into a PG-13 movie. He can um, stop bullies, but he learns that being a grown-up isn't all it's cracked up to be mm -hmm. and that you should enjoy being a kid. So Yeah, a lot of kids say, I can't wait yeah. until I'm older, and you <laughs> think, right. yeah, bills, <laughs> yeah. stress, all that right. stuff. Um, you know, a lot of these issues um, are, are, are great, and parents need help with them, and one of the big ones is this issue of child predators yeah. and trying to explain. There was that phrase, stranger danger, for a while, right. but some experts say that's not always the best because police officers aren't dangerous, yeah. firefighters, teachers aren't dangerous. Um, how do you address this issue? This book I wrote um, so that teachers, educators, counselors, parents could read it to children and not put ideas into their head that are not, that don't already exist, but um, it's for the victim and it's also because you know you can't you can't prevent it you you can't prevent it because it's already happened so you have to heal mm -hmm. and you have to find a way f to move on and keep it from happening again it's also for it's also diagnostic because i can read it to a child and see in their eyes if it's really going on or not mm -hmm. it's also very therapeutic um, for the parent that misses signals you know these child molesters they they weave a web around kids and they pull their hope away and sometimes it takes this uh, lack of hope happening to another child to have something click inside of them and then they step forward and say hey this happened to me too yeah. and it's a very painful thing uh, it's a very delicate thing and this is a book that hopefully will help 
Well, I would say not just for parents, but I know a lot of care providers right. um, keep that book in their office so that they can help kids in yeah. their counseling. Because, and, and in the back it says what, you know, what, what to look for in a child mm -hmm. abuser or a child molester. could be anyone, but you know, anybody who, the mentor thing can really get messed up sometimes, you know, so it becomes, they cross boundaries and, and you need to teach kids about healthy boundaries, but you also need to teach them that, that they are a victim, they don't, they do not have to be victimized. Yeah. Yeah. And the special offer, just, I'm sorry to cut you off, but the special offer just popped up on the screen, so we want to tell people about this. If you mention the Morning Blend uh, in a message and receive the free shipping and handling and a dollar off a book, yeah, right? Yep. Just mm -hmm. look for that section at JuliaCookOnline.com, but this is just sort of a sampling of her books and uh, addressing a number of issues, depending on what you're dealing with in your, in your house, but you can learn about all of her work online and some uh, potentially very exciting things happening for Julie, and we look forward to following yeah, you your here. Books, it really <laughs> teaches kids to think for themselves, to be kind of yeah. lifelong problem solvers. Yeah, that's so, yeah. the goal, yeah. is that, you know, a lot of people tell the parents what to say to the kids, but not how to say it, okay? Yeah. So if they can read a book and become a problem solver from that book, a yeah. lifelong problem solver, that's the key. It's priceless. Yeah, stuff, Thank, you. Yeah. Thank I you. I love this picture on the back right there. <laughs> right in the so talented. We'll see you later.